the Supreme Court overturned three important provisions of Arizona's immigration law, but upheld one important provision known as show me your papers. This provision allows police to um, check the immigration status of anybody they arrest, stop, or detain. The Supreme Court reaffirmed a long-standing doctrine that the federal government is in charge of immigration policy um, and that the states, when they try to attach additional burdens to um, immigration, they are violating the federal government's um, jurisdiction. This is important because in the last couple of years, the Supreme Court has shown um, more favor towards Justice Scalia approach, which is that states always have the right to make immigration policy, or Justice Alito's approach, which is that states have the right to make immigration policy as long as Congress hasn't explicitly told them that they can't. Either of these interpretations of the law um, would have opened the door to states basically setting up their own immigration regimes so that the lives not just of undocumented immigrants, and illegal immigrants, not just their lives would be different from state to state, but even the lives of legal immigrants would be different from state to state. That an immigrant could not expect the same treatment when they lived in Montana as when they lived in Michigan or as of when they lived in Maryland. Um, and that's a, that's a would be a very significant change in American law, the Supreme Court closes the door on that on that possibility by reaffirming that the federal government is in charge of immigration.